spot shot or activations and several 911 reports near 38th in Chicago have many people concerned about a recent surge of violence in that area. Since the intersection known as George Floyd Square reopened to traffic last summer, the number of shootings and violent acts had actually gone down. WCCO's Rich Chapman spoke with a group that works to stand in the gap between the community and police to try to promote peace. We're the only community probably in the United States um, that has had to self-police. For the past 20 months, the area surrounding George Floyd Square has served as a memorial to a life lost. But we had over 120 days inside the square. Data-driven, data shows it on the MPD website that there was no shots fired. Agape Movement's Bridget Stewart says three recent violent incidents should not take away from the positive work going on near 30th in Chicago. One of them happened to be inside a private resident. It was a de domestic situation that escalated and unfortunately turned into a homicide. The other incident was a random shooting and then a kidnapping of an individual who was held inside an abandoned building in the area. The residents and business owners have been complaining about that, that particular spot for about seven months. And unfortunately, it became a encampment for homelessness. And somehow they got inside and we ended up with a DOA. Agape says it needs help to keep residents and visitors safe. If we can get more funding and more support, a lot of people say they're with us behind closed doors, but they don't really show up to, you know, stand in the gap with us with the community. The group is encouraged by the attention to the area given by new third precinct inspector Jose Gomez. The new inspector Gomez, who has really decided to stand up and say, hey, I am for the community. I myself am a minority. How do we take that first step? First steps have been taken and Agape Movement hopes to move forward to restoring this area to the cultural district it once was. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. The city of Minneapolis says it hopes to work with community members to figure out the best use for that abandoned building.